If you're like many, then your summer is on the go. Outdoor activities, afternoons at the pool, day trips to fun places like the Shedd Aquarium in Chicago. Well, how do you make sure that the foods you eat are keeping your body healthy? Well, Zach has moved over to our food segment desk and has some food samples to test out on today's Lost Creek Rehabilitation and Care Center food segment. Well, thank you, Mark. You know, according to the Good Housekeeping Research Institute, the average American eats six convenience foods daily. Today's Americans are overworked and their schedules are packed full. And what is often the first to suffer? Well, nutrition. It's easy to jump through that fast drive through through the line and consider the necessary nutrients for that day. Well, today we're going to show you an alternative to that to that with five ready-made portable items that aren't just prepackaged for your convenience, but also created with health conscious ingredients. Number one, we're looking at Vicky's granola, guys. This it's is over there. you can see on along the front here. Tasting and day. Number two, we're going to look at ready-to-eat flax chia seeds. Ready um, to eat, eh? Ready to eat, <laughs> as opposed to. Uh, Baked for three hours, nope. chia seeds? These or? are ready for you to consume. We're going to look at some fruit snacks. Go organically fruit this snacks. This is my, my personal favorite. Do favorite. not steal them. Come no, on. don't take them. These are to share. I've actually been munching on these all week, just so everybody knows. Can I just drink this? <laughs> We're going to look at some authentic Wait. Italian mini croissants. These are these. Mm. I've already pre-opened yep. the package. Pre-opened. So and then also, loud. Andy, I predict this will be your personal favorite. This is Coleman's mustard. Wait a second. We're just eating mustard? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, <laughs> you've got mustard powder and some mustard, some actual mustard. So you dip so. your finger in one and then sprinkle well, some powder on Well, we're going to find out. You put the mustard in the no, smoothie. No, you don't. <laughs> Why? Why would you do such a thing? Well, we let's, are not. Let's start okay. with number one. We're going to take a look at the Vicky's granola right here. Okay. And this actually does look very good. My wife does eats a lot of granola. <laughs> <laughs> my wife eats a lot of granola and... and I can eat it, but it's not it's always strawberry. my favorite. Here, pick one out and let's try it. Pecans, no, almonds, and honey. Cranberries, maple, and walnuts. Blueberries. The benefit of these, number one, they're gluten-free. So all of you out there who do have the gluten allergies, these are gluten-free granola. Look at these little packages. Jennifer, that looks like a por perfect portable. I could see you taking that in your van, driving down the road, and eating some I have to tell granola. you, it also opened very easily. You know, sometimes they trouble that to get well. these open. It was very mm -hmm. smooth. Oh, that's in there. Benefit. It's great. Those are good. Convenience. Right. A little yogurt, maybe? Oh, yeah. It's a blend of honey, almonds, mm -hmm. pecans, oh, really unsweetened really coconut, good. and of course, depend on which, depending on which one you selected, there's blueberries, pecans, and maybe some cranberries some? in there. Sure. Mm -hmm. I'll have to try. What is this? Really this is the good. blueberry. blueberry. Try this one. Blueberry almond. Now, there's no refined sugars in these or preservatives, and so again, that nutrition that we're mm -hmm. talking about. Um, there's a benefit there. I'd give this one two thumbs up for sure. That's, that's excellent. Perfect little grab and go really package. That's really good. Mm -hmm. right. And then you can buy them in these small little packages too, so they're mm. nice and easy to take. Very good. That may be starting to be a staple in my house. So thumbs up for Vicky's Granola. Yeah. Absolutely. And you can find those. We're losing the Vicky's. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you can find those at vickysfood.com, and so you can maybe purchase some of these to-go packages. Mm. Oh, that's good. All right. Good. Mm. Put the granola down. Ball We're ball moving ball on here. to number <laughs> two. We're going to talk about the ready-to-eat flax chia packs. Oh, boy. These are right here. Now, I understand Jennifer, I think for fear of eating these straight, has prepared a smoothie Good, we get to drink. put these in. <laughs> and what's in I the smoothie? I don't think you're really supposed to eat them straight. I mean, I don't know. Maybe a health person will call me up and say differently. But Well, what's in the smoothie this morning? Um, this smoothie has strawberries, blueberries, bananas, and mango. Mango. There we go. Oh, that's what I was smelling. So, tear here. No, no banana? Okay, not quite as easy to tear as Vicky's, but still pretty easy. A benefit of these is it's a prepackaged amount of your flax and chia seeds. And so if you maybe you are supposed to be eating these for some fiber or omega-3s, these are prepackaged amounts. You don't have to worry about divvying up your seeds. You're and putting you just, the whole packet in? I'll share. <laughs> I'll share. We'll do half and half. Do they have flavor or is it flavorless, Zach? Well, with your smoothie, you're going to only taste the, the fruit there. I hope there. that's the truth. But they're a rich source in fiber and omega-3s, antioxidants. What is an omega-3 exactly? It's a healthy oil. Something you need. You need in your protein body. Protein in your body. Yeah, you and you don't it. need to refrigerate Fine. these, so how is it? Yep. Yep. Hey, yeah, you can't even taste it. Doesn't, great way. There's no weird texture or anything. Very smooth. Crunchy, yeah. but I know, Andy, okay. you do the, the Nutribullet I do. Uh, smoothies in the morning, right? right? And so you could maybe just put some of these in there. You get your daily dose of fiber and some other healthy ingredients. Omega-3s. <laughs> I will call Leah as soon as we're done and let her know that Chia is your new friend. Chia pet. You can find these at Carrington Farms. So is my hair going to grow? <laughs> CarringtonFarms.com. <laughs> my hair's going to grow everywhere. We need to move on to our fruit snacks, my personal favorite. Oh! 
I have a weak spot for fruit snacks. I do many too. people in my life know this. This is a, a weak point of mine. But, but these so are many healthy. fruit snacks have like artificial colors and mm -hmm. extra things in it that we don't really want. So oh, these don't, good. right? These are gluten free, they're GMO free free. <clears throat> they're all organic. I think I have some granola stuck in my mouth. I get the black seed. Yeah. All organics mm. and they're made with natural Those are great. fruit juice. And they wow. are very tasty. I've, I've eaten these at my desk the last few days. You got secretly, an advance preview Well, I've secretly been snack. taking mm. them out of Jennifer's these office. These are very good. She doesn't know this. <laughs> I'll the box open. I'm supposed to have be the keeper of things that no one's supposed to touch, but yep. And oh, I'm trying to have been sneaking in there. You I know your them. daughters also have to watch what food colorings mm -hmm. they eat for a few colors. And these are made with no um, artificial colors. These are so very good. Naturally colored. Yeah, they're really good. Yeah. And they're not too like difficult to chew. They're very perfect. good. Perfect. Very good. GoOrganicallySnacks.com is where you're going to find these at. Are there any vegetables in these? Because then there I can get not. my daily dose well, of vegetables. We need to hit our last two items sorry. quickly here. Oh, We're sorry. looking go, at go. Italian croissants. I have one open mm. already. These are vanilla custard. So these, oh. are, these are not yeah. gluten free. They are not gluten free, but maybe you oh. want something sweet. And they are small portion sizes. You can get chocolate. Oh man, they're, they're cream pop, right? Oh, okay. <laughs> chocolate mm. or vanilla is the varieties they come in. And there's six of them wow. in this little package Can I here. freeze them? You can buy these in packages of six. So six bags here, and they've got these mini croissants in them. How are they? I haven't tried the, one of the these. The rule is, though, you cannot eat more than what's in a bag. Why not? This is portion control, so that you don't eat too many of this. You can just, just enough to keep you going. Something I think Andy might need help with. I do have a problem. <laughs> Our last one, the most <laughs> exciting one of them all, is this. The Holman's most exciting mustard. Is mustard. Here, you can see that's the mustard powder. <laughs> this is the mustard. Why are we? Perfect. Here's mustard? an idea. I know you're a big camper, Andy. Is that true? Oh, I love camping. <laughs> <laughs> You're perfect if you're going camping, and maybe you just need to take some mustard for whatever you're cooking. What a great <laughs> idea. Hey, but you know I what? I think I'm going to go camping mustard right now. Mustard is healthier than a lot of other things, like mayonnaise and things. You put mustard on something, and it's... There you go. You have the faith oh, the size of a mustard powder. You're going to put mustard in your smoothie. <laughs> oh, no. That would be terrible. Well, here's how you use the mustard powder. If you do want to create mustard, you just do mix not sniff the mustard. equal part water with equal part mustard powder and let it sit for about 10 minutes and you're going to end up with some great tasting <laughs> mustard. Let that sit in your mouth for 10 minutes. I don't think that's how it's intended to be used. <laughs> Where's the garlic? Well, the strength of the mustard. Oh, wait. Now it's getting... It does taste okay now. Does it? Yeah. You know, so you're supposed to let it sit, but... Sit, sit where? In my mouth? Yeah. <laughs> you must have put cold water with it. Read the directions, Andy. This must be oh, tried and true. This dates back to 1814 is when Coleman's mustard started, and so... That's pretty good, actually. Yeah? Yeah. So out of all of these items, which ones... The mustard! <laughs> the mustard is your favorite. Zach predicted it from the beginning. Wow. Well, Flax and mustard. That's really Andy's good mustard. changing after that. <laughs> 